Jonathan Gavoni of DraftExpress.com. We're here with Leon Gilmore at the Pangos All-American Camp in Long Beach. Leon, how is Pangos treating you so far? It's been real entertaining and fun so far. I like, I like how everything's been going. How do you feel like you're playing? I think I'm playing. I played very well the first two games. I think I played all right the last, the, the last one. Well, that was the only game we saw, and we saw you get a lot of offensive rebounds, a lot of energy, is a lot of intensity. Is that is that the kind of player you are? Yes, sir. I like to play with a high motor, I guess, and just go strong to the basket and do what I can to help my team. Where does that come from? That that motor, that intensity. Um, wh where does that come from? Um, it's just. I feel like I'm playing against the best player, so I gotta go hard every time, or I'm gonna get shown up. So it just makes me want to go harder. When you're playing against average players in Texas, do you do you not play as hard? Sometimes I do, but like in school ball, I don't, I don't think I, 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 I. Sometimes I don't play as hard as I really can. For for people that don't really know you, what can you tell us about your background? I what you mean. Like uh, where you're from, like your family, uh, that kind of thing. From I was born in Houston, been there my whole life. My dad, family, they're from Pennsylvania. Mother's from Houston, so that's why I spend most of my time in Houston. When did you start playing basketball and why? Um, since I was three. My mother. Well, I didn't start playing actually AAU till eighth grade. That's when I really started playing competitive basketball. Other than that, I just been playing like outside with my friends and stuff. When did you when did you start really getting noticed uh, as a basketball player? Um, my sophomore freshman year, I think. That's when I started getting a lot of attention. What were you What were you doing? What was it that that attracted people? I hit a pretty good growth spurt, and people just started wanting me on their team. And I just developed my game from since then and getting, getting better and better. What do you bring to the table for the colleges that are recruiting you? Um, I'm <laughs> I guess I <laughs> I'm a, a great kid. Um, I'm somebody they can talk to, and, I t and I'm a <laughs> man. <laughs> um, I don't know. What are some of the things that you need to work on? Um, my right hand, um, consistent shooting. I need to get my shot more consistent, and my defense. What's your natural position going to be? Um, small forward. What are some of the things you're looking for in a college for, in terms of what stands out in your recruitment? Am I going to play there? Are they going to? Are they, am I going to be around good people? Like, am I not going to be in bad positions? I want to stay out of trouble and just be around a group of guys that's going to all they all want one goal in the win. What kind of schools are recruiting you? Oh, uh, we have Nebraska, U of H, Baylor, UT, Oklahoma State, Creighton, Texas A&M, and a lot of uh, Texas Tech, and it's a lot of schools really in Texas. How are you going to narrow that down? It seems like a really big list, a lot of different types of schools, uh, big programs, smaller programs, different conferences. What? How are you going to narrow down that list? Is that going to be a tough decision for you? I should have a, a top ten or a top five after after this summer. I'm, uh, I'm going to sit down with my parents, and we're going to break things down, look at different schools, see what's right, and I'm going to make a, top, a list from there and see what happens. Where do you see yourself five years from now? Five years at a good college or good school preparing to go to the NBA.